Oke. Que le estén por culo. Lo siento. Vale. All right. How does this sound? I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. Vale. Down there, a new ship. Doesn't look like any of the corporate freighters. But what would they be doing here? And how did they ever get permission to land? Perhaps we'll finally get some excitement after all. If I spit, oh, think I can get that down there. Así, ah, así ah, se baja. No me acuerdo cómo se baja. Good, you're back. Not that I know. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal.
Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Well, there will be anything else, Captain. Oh, nice. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Feel like it's... No voy a traicionarlo. No quiero trabajar con corporaciones. I have kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Básicamente. Por ejemplo. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. 
We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Nah. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. You absolutely should. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Okay. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Venga, suerte con tus mierdas. Sigamos. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. 
I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Vale. to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Or the sun. Okay. That... That means... That means Captain. I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability. Oh. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Shit. If UDL was sending more folks, they'd have told us. I get you. This is the dullest job I've ever had. But order's set to stand here, so here I am. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. Fingers, Captain. 